This video note describes several considerations when choosing a domain name. A crucial part of establishing an effective web presence is choosing a domain name. It serves to locate your website on the internet. If your business or organization is new, then it's often convenient to select a domain name while you are still deciding on a company name. If your organization is well established, choose a domain name that relates to your existing business presence. Although many domain names have already been purchased, there are still a lot of available options. Although there is a long-standing trend to use fun words as domain names, for example, yahoo.com, google.com, bing.com, wufu.com, think carefully before doing so. Domain names for traditional businesses and organizations are the foundation of the organization's web presence and should include the business name or purpose. While most people find new websites with search engines, some of your website visitors will type your domain name in a browser. A shorter domain name is preferable to a longer one. It's easier for your visitors to remember. Using the hyphen character, commonly called a dash, in a domain name makes it difficult to pronounce the name. Also, someone typing your domain name may forget the dash and end up at a competitor site. If you can, Avoid the use of dashes in a domain name. While the .com TLD is still the most popular for commercial and personal websites, consider also registering your domain name with other TLDs, such as .biz, .net, .us, or .mobi. Commercial businesses should avoid the .org TLD, which is the first choice for nonprofit organizations. You don't have to create a website for each domain name that you register. You can arrange with your domain name registrar for the extra domain names to point visitors to the domain name where your website's located. This is called domain name redirection. Think about words that a potential visitor might type into a search engine when looking for your type of business or organization. This is the starting point for your list of keywords. If possible, work one or more keywords into your domain name, but still keep it as short as possible. The U.S. Patent and Trademark Office, USPTO, defines a trademark as a word, phrase, symbol, or design, or a combination of words, phrases, symbols, or designs that identifies and distinguishes the source of the goods of one party from those of others. A starting point in researching trademarks is the USPTO Trademark Electronic Search System at tess2.uspto.gov. Explore the way your potential domain name and keywords are already used on the web. It's a good idea to type your potential domain names and related keywords into a search engine to see what may already exist. Check with one of the many domain name registrars to determine whether your domain name choices are available. Some popular domain name registrars include Register.com, NetworkSolutions.com, and GoDaddy.com. Each of these sites offers a search feature that provides you with a way to determine whether a potential domain name is available. Often the domain name is already taken. If that's the case, the sites I just mentioned will provide you with alternate suggestions that may be appropriate. Don't give up. A domain name is out there waiting for your business. This video note describes several important considerations to keep in mind when you select a domain name. 